This is 11 surprising facts about the new Camaro, 2016 Chevrolet Camaro RS. The sixth generation Chevrolet Camaro will go on sale later this year, and while its appearance is very similar to that of the fifth generation model, it is new from the ground up. Here are 11 key details that reveal just how much has changed. First, it's built on a completely different platform. Despite the strong familial resemblance to the previous car, the dirty bits of the new Camaro are based on GM's Alpha platform, used on the Cadillac ATS and CTS models, rather than the previous Zeta platform. As a result, all of the underbody pieces are completely different and not interchangeable. Second, its standard four-cylinder engine is the first in 30 years. The entry-level LT model comes with a four-cylinder engine, the first one in a Camaro in 30 years. It's the 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder borrowed from the ADS, developing about 270 horsepower and 290 pounds to foot of torque. That's roughly triple the horsepower of the 2.5-liter Iron Duke 4 offered in the 1982 to 1986 models. Third, the V8 engine has three radiators. The main radiator is located in the conventional position, and two smaller radiators are stationed on either side, mounted at right angles. Fourth, the automatic transmission cooler is horizontal. At the bottom of the box formed by the V8S3 radiators lies a horizontally mounted transmission cooler, through which air flows downward. Fifth, to save weight, the anti-roll bar drop links are plastic. The front anti-roll bar drop links on the V6 models are described as composite. But they are actually a high-strength plastic, not reinforced by any fibrous material. Sixth, the VAC vents do double duty. In a clever touch designed to minimize the number of buttons while making it easy to adjust the temperature setting of the VAC system, each outer ring on the central air outlet rotates to set the system temperature. The set temp is then shown briefly on the central LCD display. 7. It took an unconventional path to a wider track. In order to preserve most of the Alpha platform structure that had been carefully developed for the ATS and CTS, the Camaro's wider track, 1.6 inches greater up front, 1.2 inches wider at the back, Camaro SS versus CTS was achieved by using longer suspension pieces on the same pickup points. Most of these bits are aluminum, and, in total, they're 21% lighter than the corresponding parts on the 5th Gen Camaro. Eighth, the roof is laser welded. On most cars, the roof is MIG welded to the sides of the car, leaving an untidy seam that must either be covered by a plastic strip, or hand filled and finished. On the lesser versions of a car, the plastic strips serve as an obvious reminder that you bought the cheap model. On the Camaro, this seam is laser welded, producing a much neater seam that requires no handwork and looks better on all versions. Ninth, the instrument cluster is highly customizable. On the upper trim versions, you get an 8-inch LCD screen that sits between the analog speedometer and tack. On this screen, you can display three different instrument configurations on the top third and at least four different screens underneath. These are independent of what is on the 8-inch LCD screen on the dash. Tenth, the SS model is track capable. In anticipation of expected hard driving, the Camaro SS is rated as track capable. That means that it can run for an entire tank of fuel at maximum speed around GM's Milford Road course without cooking its engine, transmission, differential, or brakes. That's why it has so many radiators. And 11th the hood vents are functional. The vents on the aluminum hood of the Camaro SS are functional and serve to relieve excess air from the engine compartment. This helps cooling flow and reduces lift. The position of the vents was chosen so that low pressure air flowing over the hood would help extract the underhood air.